So I thought I would show you just how easy it is to achieve pass-through with the, the MetaQuest 2 headset and stereo kit and using c -sharp and .NET and, and Visual Studio and deploying it straight to the headset. Um, I have leveraged some existing code that someone else wrote, but I, I packaged that and I put a code sample together on a, for a repository on my GitHub called stereo kit uh, pass-through. And we'll walk through the code really quickly. Uh, well, actually, because I don't know what a lot of it does. Um, but then I will show you the pass-through functionality as well. So let's, uh, first of all, the, the file that I, I've just picked up and dropped in is this, this pass-through FB ext file. I'm not going to run through all this code. I think it talks to uh, OpenXR and, and makes sure that pass-through is enabled and allows it to be turned on. The main code I want to kind of just show you is this one. This is this app class here. This is, I do know what this code does, that kind of helped. Um, so we've got an app class, we've got some settings for stereo kit. Uh, then we have got the static class, the pass through FB extension class. Then we have got uh, a, a, a pose, uh, and this pose is both a position and an orientation. And this is called cube pose because later on, uh, later on in the code, we're instantiating a cube and having it in, in the scene uh, that you can, you can reach out with. Uh, and also we're giving uh, this model class here is what we're going to make this cube look like. Then we've got this floor transform. So when I switch between the pass through and non pass through, the non pass through will just look like virtual reality and, and have like a grid floor. Then when I switch to pass through, that will disappear. So this init method is only called once when you initialize it in, in stereo kit. Uh, here we're initiating the the cube model. In fact, I'm probably just going to rename that really quick to cube model. Uh, yep, so that's creating a cube model and it's a really, really plain one, bit of rounded edges there. Instantiating the floor material from um, uh, this HLSL file. Then we've got this pose, which is again is a bit of the, both the position and orientation, including the XYZ coordinates and which direction to look, in, look at, because this is going to be the position of a window inside the app. Um, and then once we've got that, this is the, I guess, the most important method here, this step method. And this is called and ran every frame in the app. So what this line is doing, uh, line for line, is uh, we're, staying, we're saying instantiate a window here, call it this, or so give that at the, the top, the title bar at the top. Use this position, and you might wonder why it's been passed in this reference. Well, that's so that if you move that window around, um, it's it can pass it by reference so that it can keep maintain the position and orientation of that window outside of that method. Okay, then we've got this line here, which is really clever in stereo, because, in stereo kit, because what it does is not only does it instantiate a button on the UI, um, and it's actually with it big inside this window because it's between those two lines, you've got begin, window begin and window end because it's there, it's, it knows to put it on that window. Not only does it instantiate the button, and give it the text to show on the button, this if statement is saying what to happen if you press the button. So it's saying instantiate the button, make it, give it that text, and if it's pressed, then if pass through is enabled, then disable it, so toggle it off. Else, if it isn't enabled, then, then start it up. And then that's the end of the window, so that's all we need for the window. And then what this block here is saying, if pass-through is not enabled, then make sure that you draw the floor. Um, and conversely, if it if it is enabled, then, then don't draw the floor, okay? And then the last thing is this cube that we talked about earlier. That instantiates this cube. Uh, in fact, that line, the only one we would need to draw is the second one, cube model draw, and then that's the position. This line above it is actually giving it a, wrapping it in, in like a skeleton, I guess, in a way that we can actually manipulate that cube. So with that in mind, I'm going to run this and stream it so you can see what I'm doing on my Oculus Quest. So let's see if I can do this. I'm using a side quest to stream this to my headset. That's what's actually being streamed on my headset now. OK, let's just prove that. And that's all biasly, which is quite clever. Now, if I minimize that because I need to hit run, that should deploy it straight to my Oculus Quest. It shouldn't take too long, um, but we'll see how quick that, that is. Probably should have checked this before I start recording. Right, that looks like it's working fine. 
hope there's no, not too much of a lag when I do play this. Okay, let's maximize that. Just making sure that it gets deployed to the headset. Okay. Okay, deploy, deploy, deploy. Still deploying. Note to self, cut this bit out of the video. Probably would deploy a bit better. Okay, that looks like it's deploying. Okay. okay that is deploying, it's running the app. Okay, it's gonna launch it in pass through, that's interesting. So you should be able to see everything I can see now. So hopefully I'm still on camera. I can't really tell. Right. So I've got this is pass through. This has got pass through enabled by default. I can reach out and, and grab this cube. Um, sorry about the mess in the room. And then I can I can go grab that and, and grab it like this, which is pretty neat. And then uh, what I can do is, is toggle that pass through. In fact, I can grab that window if I wanted and put it wherever I want here, there. Just put it there because it's, it's helpful. And then I can do that, it's all the pass through, and then I can't see, <laughs> the only thing I can see now is what's on the screen, which is this VR environment, this gridded floor, but the cube's still here, and this window's still here. And then I can, if I wanted to move this over here, and then it's all the pass through again. And there you go. So you've got this really simple way of enabling pass through um, on, oh, uh, in uh, using StereoKit, C Sharp, .NET, Visual Studio, straight to MetaQuest headset, which you know lots of people have. So, yeah, hope that uh, is useful. And let's take this off now. Fix it this. Put that down. Okay, we walked through the code. We did do that. So the last thing I'll do is just say this is where the uh, the GitHub page is. I'll put a little bit more detail in the README file. But the source code is all there. Uh, if you want to try this for yourself. So now you can create uh, VR applications and then utilizing the pass-through capability on the MetaQuest and headset and StereoKit allows you to do that. And you can do it all C Sharp and in Visual Studio uh, as well. So good news for .NET developers. Okay, cool. Uh, I'd love to know what you create, but until next time, see ya.